Go. All right, this is Rocky Hall, and we are in Pahrump, Nevada, at the Nevada Southern Detention Center. And what we're doing now is just a little, little uh, march. And this is the road inside the prison grounds here. And I bet you we're going to be stopped. So. Yeah, they're not asking permission to come in here, so I think we're going to get ourselves into trouble. Awesome Lavoy flag there. We are on a rally here in Pahrump, Nevada at the Nevada Southern Detention Center for the Patriots that are being held uh, as political prisoners. So we are being turned back. We're being told to turn back. This is this is private property here. This is a private detention center, so this is private property. Don't give them the grief, guys. Come on. Oh, don't give them grief, guys. Come on. Anyway, we've got a really good turnout here this morning, a little bit less than it was yesterday. Uh, but uh, people are trickling in. They went out celebrating last night, and uh, so some have a little, little bit of a headache this morning. But it's all good. Guys, we have to get off the road. Um, we're in violation of federal statutes, we've been told. And we don't want to take no these flags on the road. We don't want to alienate people. <laughs> Let's go back to the other side and get off. <laughs> we're in violation of the We really want to remain friendly with these guys. So anyways, we're in violation of federal. Yeah. What? <laughs> we can get some. They're in violation of the Constitution. I think you got the message. It's private property, guys. Can't raise the flag. Why can't we? Can you send private the property so we that we get pay for? Of all of you with your legs? No flags on the premises. Yeah, yeah. You should remove your American flag. We All right, guys, let's take it back. Let's not get ourselves into trouble. No flags allowed on the federal property, yet they have two flags of their own. No patriotism. We don't want to make these guys mad. What would they do? No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, this is just a personal request. Let's set a PA system as close as we can. Right here. Yeah, hold it. Yeah. Uh, Negative. This is a uh, an easement here. 100 feet. All it's going to do is mine while you're gone. Come on, seriously. Let's get a Sir, would you like to give a statement to the American people? I don't know what to say. <laughs> I love America. Free the prisoners. I love America. Free the prisoners. Our political prisoners. Free our political prisoners. There you go. <laughs> yeah, let's get right around the sign and get some good pictures, guys. Got some awesome people here today. Good turnout. Standing down here. Yeah. And let the guys that are down here in the big fence yard that's about over a quarter mile away. Can I ask for an interview? <laughs> Not me. No. I always ask. <laughs> no problem. I always ask. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty vocal, but not pretty vocal. That's okay. Hey, John, you want to give a statement? They deserve a parade. Well, we um, are still here. We're not leaving nowhere today. We're going to stand here across the road uh, peacefully. At least the guys can hear us and see us today as we yell. They do so. hear us and they do see us, and we're waving our flags and Definitely. they're happy we're here. Definitely. Awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you.
Can I get a uh, shout out for Idaho? Idaho! 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 We're here to support our political prisoners. Say no to First Amendment zones. Say no to government government overreach. They're treating heroes Stand up like criminals. Tyranny. American heroes are be treat, being treated like criminals. Anybody we have our parade today, but there will be a parade they for these men. We are here so that they will be heard. Did you guys get in for a visit yesterday? Yes, we did. We had a visit with the, with the guys from Idaho. Um, they all were in high spirits. They're, they're feeling very positive that things are going to work out in their favor. Because they will. Because they, they, they will. They know they got a lot of people standing not. behind them. We're not done God's until on our it side. does go in their favor. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a couple of names of the men you visited today. Uh, we visited Eric with Eric Parker, Stephen Stewart, Scott, Scott Drexler, Todd Engel. Those are some guys from Idaho that we know personally. Very um, close friends. We came good down. Man. We, we, we drove eight, over eight hours to come visit this weekend, and we got eight more to head home. But uh, we'll be back every time you all are here. How were their spirits yesterday when you guys saw them? Beautiful. 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 Smiling, Smiles. happy faces. Um, they all look great. They're in high spirits. They know they're going to win. God's on our side. And is there anything that here. is there anything that they asked us for that people could send in? <laughs> Keep sending letters, uh, photographs, um, current events, things of that nature. Magazines, magazines, non-vulgar uh, magazines. Hunt. <laughs> they want. They want hunting, fishing, <laughs> four wheeling. Yeah. Yeah. So they want. They want current events and pictures. I know that they asked for that as well. So, uh, anything you guys want to say to the American people? No, we love you. Wake up, folks. We We're love you all. You. We're Wake here up and stand, stand up. We're here for you just like Time they are. Time to stand We're not up going against anywhere. oppression. We're not going anywhere. Awesome. Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Tell me what's on your mind, young man. We're going to bring these boys home. This is a constitutional watershed crisis. They can't go away for this. And we're going to stay out here until they come home. We'll never give up. We'll never quit. Sweet. One of the things we always did in Portland when we were over there was we always either started out in prayer or at least prayed once every day. Yeah. How would we uh, everybody gather together and we'll say a prayer here? The guys here. Absolutely. Sounds awesome. Hey guys, we're gonna say a prayer. Anybody want to join on the prayer? Oh yeah. Want to join in a prayer? Join in a prayer. We're going to have a prayer. We're going to have a prayer. John, we're going to ask you to uh, lead us in prayer. And can you say it loud, please? Loud and proud, brother. There are a few more coming in. People were fixing to start a prayer down here in front of the detention center in Trump, Nevada. <laughs> My phones always go off. <laughs> <laughs> and his phone goes off. <laughs> oh dear. And it's your wife, right? Oh no. Father, we ask you right now in your name that you um come and you um, bring peace over our men that are here in jail. We know that's one of the biggest things that they, they need at this moment. Being locked away like this, away from their families for such a long time. And all alone in such a place that's so evil. But we know that you're there and you're here with all of us. And that your will is going to be done. You're the witness of what we're doing for you. This is not for us. We're doing this to bring back our country for our children. Bring back the Constitution that has been stolen from us. Bring back the rights to the people. And we know if we do your will, 
you will grant this. Just as you granted a big miracle for us in Portland, we know that you have miracles for us here. And we just got to follow your will and do what you ask. We ask blessings on everyone that came out here. Safe journeys back home when they go. And we ask all this in your name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Very nice. Amen, brother.